Excuse me, sister. Yes, sir. Can I help you? I was looking for a girl by the name of Eva, I think. Wanted to see if she was doing okay. Are you one of her special friends? No, I just helped her. Oh. She said she was coming in here. Oh, she came and she went. A man came for her. Turned out maybe he was her calling after all. Okay. Thank you, sister. Oh, I think they said they were going to El Sepulcro. But who knows? She wasn't much of one for the truth. <laughs> What are you doing, amigo? Nothing. Why'd you kill her? I didn't kill her. I wouldn't do a thing like that. Sure, I hit her, but Why'd I... you kill her? And why are you digging her up? 
And what business is it of yours, huh? Oh. You still want to lay with her? Huh? You sold her. You let her go. No, no, no. A good whore never leaves, man. Do I get my money back now or after I've killed you? It was just a god dang whore, man. A god dang filthy whore. As you say, she was just a whore. Inche. Now come on. Cuando te vea la próxima vez, que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? <laughs> And I'm <me> rougher, ¿eh? <laughs> What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Who? Luisa, the girl from Campo Morada. Uh, all right. A gentleman never tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was increíble. Yes. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. So naive. It's really quite charming. I love peasants. Don't you love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! <laughs> marry a peasant? My dear boy, don't be absurd. I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings. Other great men, the very thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer? Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que Dios la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, I huh? guess. The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, mi hermano. This is the day we have both been waiting for.
Let's ride, my brothers! My brother, I just received word of your fight with Allende's men at El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. But why did you not kill him yourself when my men gave you the chance? I could see they wanted it more than I did. The Santa had given me what I needed. Or I thought he had. A lot of young boys will sleep safer in their beds now. The Santa was only following orders. He was dumb and loyal to his awful master. But that's all he was. Where are they, Abraham? They are at El Presidio, John. Can you believe it? The place we first met, the scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. The squalor will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see, you should have trusted your brother out of hand all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, amigo. name Javier Escuella before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious urges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think I was still traveling in Europe at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. Cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, John, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion, but no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right now. When Dutch started falling apart, it hit Javier harder than any of them. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he never believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fondness. We was close once. But he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die. We had a chance to save him. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember Cabron being used a lot. Well, now you get to pay that cabron his price visit. I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williams. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and jump off when you're close. It's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, amigo. Come on. Good luck, my brother. We will be right behind you. This is 
your chance, John! ¡Find the huella! friend it's been a long time <laughs> hello brother it's uh, good to see you i heard you was coming you took your time no come on you're not gonna shoot your own brother are you we was family yeah we were then you and dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much <laughs> so now you do the government's work and what do you do you just work for a different government <laughs> come on brother I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, 
Might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dodge, Dodge is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die? Whoa. To save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. Go back to your farm, John! Judge it. Where's Bill? I don't Where's know. Bill, you son of a bitch? Do you think I won't kill you, brother? He ain't here, brother. He's for the agenda. It's a little late for revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought you was a creep. like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. It was Bill, not me. Yeah, and he's next. So you and Bill are back together. Two crazy men share. Oh, you shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Did not life we had mean nothing to you? Oh! Ah, oh, you puto! Oh! One day, one day I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Oh. I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto! Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. Yeah, go with your puto. <laughs> the army Por is aquí. coming. Get up there and man that cannon.
show is ours! Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> Yeah. 
¡Quítatelo! ¡Quítate, estúpido! ¡Lo va a un balazo! ¡Quítate! ¡Quítate, pendejo! ¡Quítate! ¡Una, dos, tres! ¡Todo por la revolución! ¡México! ¡Escuchen, rebeldes! ¡Escuchen cómo canta un tío! ¡Otra vez! ¡Welcome to Mexico! My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay, let this man go. And who are you, gringo? I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? The American is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. Put the gun down, Americano. Ya, ya, mátalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda! Ay, Dios mío! Puta Santa Maria! So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but. We fight like men, not like dogs. my brother. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. Senor, there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? I will rally the peasants, John. You go after the prisoners. Linda's mansion.
should have run when you had the chance. Can I have this? Let's go, Joe. We must take agenda now. For the machine gun jump! We will blast through the door with gunpowder barrels. Wait while we get everything into position. Ahora, hermano, shoot the barrel! They're running back to sight! Adelante! A la mansión! ¡Echen la puerta abajo!
coming out! Don't shoot! Here! Take Williamson. Just let me live. I will leave the country, I promise. You always was weak-minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane! Dutch wanted you dead! We all did! Oh, hold right, John! How? How? Agenda is dead! Mexico is mine! My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, John. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Luisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? Your peasant girl wife-to-be? Oh, yes, of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day! Luisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull in was amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the capital. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, I sing. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Come on. <laughs>